Hello guys, welcome to the studio. Today we're going to be answering a question that was asked by one of the students, you know, who enrolled in our Udemy course. And the question is straightforward and simple, wants to know how to use the key group. That is actually a straightforward thing. It's being simplified now compared to before where we have, you don't have to go to like a lot of hoops, but now uh, it's being simplified by a single tap of a button. So let's say you have a particular sound that you like and you want to just play around, you want to convert it into a key group so that you can use your keyboard to play around and you know, it's simple what you do. Today, uh, I think I like this. So we're gonna use this particular sound. Yeah, and now how to do that? Basically go to your program edit and this is the sound already selected. Ensure it's the one that I selected and then up here you see this particular sign that looks like a keyboard. That's just your key group. Immediately you click on it, boom, you are straight into the key group. If you go back to your main, you see now you're on a different track, track eight now. And it, now you see that that urban percussion one, now this is it. And key group is already selected here. So now you are in key group. Now you can go ahead to, this is the original one and you are actually on the on the C bank so if you come to the second one it goes lower so we'll see if you want to play around with this some more you can actually go back to your program edit and go to the portamento and do some things like let's try some things here Yep, there you have it. Simple step of how you can convert your any sample that you like, you know, into a key group, and then you can just basically use your keyboard to play around with it. Now you also talked about the fact that you want to know how to, you know, put in your bass and then spread it across so that you can play it, you know, your octaves. This is a method work. Get the bass sample and then convert to key group. If you want to use 16 level, 16 level also works. But what you should need to understand is when you are in key group mode. Um, system level won't give you the ability to change the pitch of your sample. Let's go there. As you can see, all you have here is velocity, filter, attack, decay, probability, richer. You will not see where you can actually change the uh, so-called pitch. But if you come out of here, let's say you come out of here, you are here. If you go to 16 level, you can change the tune, right? And um, let's say, let me come back here. Oh, let me go back to the first one. Yep, yeah, here. This is the same one. So if I put original pad on, let me say one. Yep. Yeah. That is what you're trying to achieve when you go to your track eight and, you know, oh, I think that's too low, let me come back. Exactly, same thing. Um, let me try and take that back, the legato that I think I added. Sorry, the portamento, right? That's why it's a bit draggy. Yeah, almost the same, same thing, basically. Yeah, so there you have it. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comment section below. See you in the next video.